Hello guys, welcome back to the final episode of season number two, technically, of uh, the Birmingham Save. Now, um, with the last episode was all the way back in December. I'm now um, at the end of the season. Uh, you're about to see uh, the last two games of the season in mean, a usual video, but this um, is the business that we've done. Um, Deli Ali was brought in, as well as Ricky Jade Jones, both very decent players. Um, however, on the outs, we did let Tyve Chong go to Burnley for £10 million. Pounds. He's not really made an appearance though. Um, we let quite a few players go out on loan. Kevin Long also left, um, which is a shame, especially now as um, he's an assistant manager. But we got £1.3 million pounds for him, so that was, I suppose, worth it. And Jordan James has left to go to Leicester to be in their under 21s. Um, we also let some youngsters go out on loan. Uh, Brian Fiem Fibiema um, went out on loan. He's one of the key uh, players that went out on loan. We also, well, I'm going to show you the youth to intake, but we have had that. Um, and also looking at um, the games, um, we, we had a decent period um, after that uh, Watford game. A couple of wins, um, followed by a couple of draws, and a decent January um, towards the end of it, definitely. Um, and then we um, had two big losses before a 5 0 win against QPR. So I'll go through the rest of the games in just a second, but enjoy this video, and um, I will see you for season number two. Enjoy. It's the end of the season and we are back for episode number four, I believe, of the Birmingham save. And since the last episode, which was all the way back here, actually be episode number five, sorry, um, when we beat QPR, um, then we drew against West Brom and then we drew against Swansea. I believe that was the last episode, was it? Something like that. Anyway, since then, um, we followed it up with a 2-0 win against Bristol City. Then we went winless for seven games. It was um, really poor. Um, drawing against Sheffield Wednesday, drawing against Bournemouth. Every other game, though, was a loss. A pretty dismal loss at that. Then we went and got beat by Hull, uh, lost in the 90th minute against Middlesbrough before we changed formation to beat Watford and then beat Rotherham as well, which puts us in 17th place, 54 points, which I believe is more than we had last year. Um, yeah, so we've, we've beaten our points total. Um, the aim is still to finish on 60 points. Um, we could finish as high as uh, 14th, which is uh, Coventry. Most likely, I mean, I'd like us to finish in, in 15th above Cardiff. Because, um, you know, that's equal to where we... Well, that's better than where we finished last season. We are um, more than safe from relegation. We shouldn't fall behind Bristol City. So, the lowest we'll finish is 17th. Um, the second half of the season has killed us. We've not been very good, um, really. Last five games, it wasn't looking good. And it, it is sort of just defensively, 67 goals conceded. I mean, we look at the goals conceded, we're, we're up there with the worst teams. Goals four, we're, we're mid-table, so I think that really shows you where we need to improve. And um, it's pretty crazy. Everton and Blackburn, both on the same amount of points. You never know what could happen up at the top of the league in the championship. Um, we have also made a signing since the last episode. Um, we've got Dylan Livett. He is joining next summer, central midfielder. Um, he's got great passing ability, really good footballer. It made sense to bring him in on a free transfer, uh, free star current ability, four star potential, uh, previously of Manchester United. Sort of got like Baxter vibes from him, you know, I think he's, he's sort of a similar kind of player. He's been playing away from his, his you know, 
um, big Premier League club and he could come in and become a really good player. Um, Baxter, by the way, recently has been um, pretty shocking, um, to, to be perfectly honest, um, but did get his first clean sheet in a long, long time um, in the last game. Also, we've had our youth intake, so that is very cool. Eden Bottomer in, looks like a really good young striker. Um, Jonathan Stewart, young goalkeeper. Uh, Scott um, O'Donnell, young winger. Uh, Aidan Gordon as well, young central midfielder. Um, all the rest look alright, but probably not going to be good enough. Um, I think, and well, and then we've got someone playing in the first team at 16, uh, Thomas Osland. He's not been playing great, but I saw that he had 16 tackling, and immediately I thought, well, we're not defending very well, so <laughs> he's six foot five. let's put him in. And um, yeah, he's got five star potential. Um, Progress-wise, as you can see, is improving. Um, he's improved in the last month. Um, has now played four games for the club, and played a 7.1 last time out. Didn't start great, but he's definitely improving. Um, as the partner to Rekic, also I've done that because um, Roberts and Rekic don't really get on as a partnership, and he's probably going to leave this summer. And Brian's been playing really well at left back, actually. Um, yeah, playing extremely well, um, considering his early form um, at left back. So he may stay for next season as a backup. Um, thinking of next season, I don't think we'll try and sign Deli Ali on a permanent deal unless he wants a cheap contract. Um, and that's simply because he's been pretty average. He's been decent at points, but he's, he's not he's not really good enough, I don't think. Um, on paper he is, but not overall. Um, Harvey White, again, I'd like to bring him back, but no probably not going to happen. Um, so yeah, this is the team then. Playing this 4-3-3. It's Baxter in goal, Colin, Osland, Rekic and Brian the back four. White, Bakuna and Ali the three in midfield. Brown, Jones and Peary the three up top. Let's get into this. Peary on form as well. 17 league goals now for this season, which is very, very impressive. I'm... Um, really pleased with how he's been playing. Now Ipswich on good form so we're going to need a good performance. Away from home it's always going to be a tough game um, against a team that, yeah, up in 8th place. 6 games unbeaten at the moment hopefully. We can end that run and try and get our third win in a row. Humphreys though has this set piece Curls it, and it's just wide of that far post from our camera angle. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with how our season's gone. We've easily avoided relegation, um, and you know I think we've built a good foundation for next season to hopefully push higher up the league. I did want to try and push towards around 12-ish this season, but it clearly was not possible um, but next season I'm hoping you know less turnover in player as the ball's played through Grekic clears it away yeah and we can try and build a good squad to try and get into the top 12 next season as that's a good header away only as far as ball here is Kaiki and Ipswich applying the pressure as they're playing for a playoff spot as Ladapo's in and he scores it's his 8th league goal of the season and Freddy Ladapo makes it 1-0. And it's it, it was pretty static defending. And um, we definitely don't need to see it again. As we know, yeah, Ipswich playing to have a chance on the final day to be able to get into those playoffs. Um, however, if it stays as it is at the moment... They will not have a chance, so they need to win this game. We, however, have been pretty shocking. Zero shots in the whole game. We've created absolutely nothing um, going forward. 
and we've been shocking defensively. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, not a great start in this game, but there's still there's still 59, no, 50, uh, I can't do maths, 50, yeah, 59, 49 minutes, yeah, 49 minutes left. Whew, that was, <laughs> yeah, here's Peary. He's been caught on the ball so easily, should have played it on. And Ipswich just looks so dangerous coming forward. Here is Baba. Ball in, Freddy Ladapo, it's 2-0. And I don't, I don't want to sound negative, but we don't usually come back. I don't think there's a time this season that we've actually scored more than two goals after, after conceding twice. You know. Hopefully today we can break that duck, but it doesn't look like it. No shot so far. Created absolutely nothing. Here is Brown though on the attack. Ball in. Ricky J Jones helped it on. Looked like he was fouled, but. Nothing doing for the referee, and it is a corner here. Can we find a goal back before half time? Bakuna will take, curls it in. Deli Alley, all six foot one of him, crouches down to miss the ball, and Harvey White's put it into the stands with a wild effort over the bar. And half time it is 2 0. Yet yeah, you've been terrible so far. I think that is a good way of describing it. We're going to go positive. Um, we're, we're just going to try and engage them a bit higher, I suppose. Um, what else should we do? Um, nobody's playing well, really. We'll bring on Patino in the midfield. See if that makes a difference. Bring Deli Alley off. He's not been good in this game so far. Here is Bull. Ball in. Headed away. Ricky J. Jones beaten to the ball as as he has been in this game quite frequently. Wolfenden. Humphreys. Ball over the top. Easy. It's it's so easy. So, so easy for him to get there in front of Brian and Ladapo's got a hat trick. He's he's he had going into this game only scored seven goals this season, which for a striker is pretty poor. But the defending by Rakic and not I mean Rakic here, what is he doing? I mean it's so poor and we're three 0 down. It's it's game set match. We're, there's no chance that we're gonna score three goals, so that is basically the end of our season. Um Especially with the goal difference this will cause. As we just need to make sure that we don't just concede any more. Ball over the top. I mean, he's headed it straight to Ladapo. And it's lucky that it's gone wide. Because, uh, again, Baxter has been poor today. We, he has one good game. And then he's done absolutely nothing good in this game. And we've had a shot on target. Oh, my goodness. We just had two shots. Wow, it's crazy stuff. Right, um, make a few changes. It's not going to really make a difference, I doubt, but, you know, we can try and change stuff. Bettino, can we, can we get a goal back? Can we, you know, make it look like we were in, a, in the fight, even though... We've been swept aside here today by Ipswich as they kick it long. Longelo should win the header. Alzate, he, he's favourite to win that ball. He's in front of ball and he doesn't win the ball. Instead, ball wins the ball. It confusing. Um, yeah, so poor. I mean, there's no character about quite a few players in this side. They don't. They don't want. They don't try. Oh my, oh my goodness me, if that had gone in, I I, I, I honestly think, <laughs> I think I would have just, just, just turned, turned the game off, <laughs> oh we've been, we've been swept aside, um, yeah, Longelo, good tackle, 
does well. Rakic, now Bakuna. It's been oh, he's been caught on the ball so easily. I mean, he's got to realise at some point he's got to take short touches to keep hold of it. And Brown again, poor challenge. Rakic, I don't oh, what are you doing? Cleared away. Dini doesn't even try. Nobody in this side cares. They don't care because they're getting paid four or five grand a week to to play for for a Birmingham side who, are, you know, we're all right, but we're not. Are these players good enough to be paid what they're pay, pay, being paid? No, no, they're not. They really aren't. And yeah, embarrassing. Really, like. Being beat 3 0 is fine, it's just the way that. Well, it's not fine, but it's acceptable. It's just the way that we've been beat. I mean, they, it's like they weren't trying in that entire game. It, it was. It, the performance is what is what worries me. Cardiff on the final day, big game. We've got to win. We have to win this game. If we don't win this game, then. You know. If we win, we could finish 16th. If we lose. Could be 17th. So let's get into this. Well, here we are then for a very interesting final day in the championship. Um, if we win, we could finish 15th. If we lose, we'll finish 17th. Um, at the top of the championship, though, very interesting. Also, Ipswich can't get promoted, so <laughs> imagine. Um, so Everton and Blackburn, yeah, both on 94 points. Interesting stuff. I also forgot to say the reason that Job Bellingham isn't playing because he would be playing with Patino is he's injured. Maybe that's a reason that we're playing poorly because Job Bellingham does give us a lot. Uh, quite a few changes for this team today. Um, we brought in Longalo. Uh, Roberts has also come in, as has a Dozy and Patino um, to try and just change the way. We've got. Um, just point my finger. I expect a much better performance from you today, which I do. We've got to be better. We're at home against Cardiff, who are not on great form. Neither are we, to be fair. But we don't want. We just want to. We want to win, obviously. But if we can just make sure that we don't lose. End the season on a fairly, fairly high. That would be good as Piri. Oh my goodness, that was almost an absolutely wonderful strike. Um, also, I find um, all of the players for that last performance, everyone was okay with it. Apart from Izzy Brown, who said, players that are talented sometimes have poor games. Yeah, I understand that, mate, but you can't be dropping... A few poor games in a row, as you've been doing quite a bit recently. Ball in. Oh, and it hits the post from Rakic. And that was so close to it being 1-0. Got to be uh, careful as well with them on the break, with the pace of Kuol up top. And Ojo and Odalda on the wings. So, half-time. We've been the better side. Um, and we're going to point our finger. You've been unlucky so far. Come on, then. Let's see what we can do. Second half. There is a spider. Trying to crawling up my PC. That's interesting. <laughs> Here is Keslia Hayden. Ball over the top. Oh, and that almost was in the path of Kuol. I was worried for a second. And... The spider. Do we wreck it? Oh, I don't think I got him. No, he's got away. Ball over the top. Ojo. What can he do? Baxter makes the save after. Good block, I think, from Colin. Colin will be here next season, by the way. Um, probably going to be the starting right back once again. And he deserves to be in that position. I think he's playing, playing his best football um, at the moment. However, we are going to take him off now because he is tired. So, Joshua Williams, the youngster, coming on. One, we've given him quite a few games, um, this this lad. Oslin's also going to come on. 
and we're going to make sure for corners um, attacking I want the ball going to Osland we just want Osland on the front post attacking that ball um, and, we, and we want near post into Osland just, just give it to Osland that's all we've got to do make sure Osland is there for the header he's 6 foot 5 and um, we are tiring up top as well so we'll bring on Mishu and for his final ever appearance for our club we'll bring on Dini he says he can play on the wing uh, you can't play on the wing I'm sorry fella um, we'll put him on up top we'll see what he can do I'm not expecting much here's a dozy Bakuna blocked a dozy oh my how's he put it that far over yeah another disappointment this season I've been I, I have been disappointed with how Adobe has played, especially the second half of the season. First half of the season he, he was alright. But not been good enough second half of the season. One shot on target today. But we're gonna finish above Preston. We finished sixteenth just like we did last year. <laughs> yeah, I mean Yeah. <laughs> we've we've not improved, but we've improved point points wise by two points yeah 16th we'll take it 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 we we weren't very good second half of the season first half of the season brilliant yeah I think we really missed Tyve Chong I think I, I I think arguably last season's team was almost just as strong but that is the end of the season. Everton win the league. Blackburn finish in second. West Brom, Bournemouth, Nottingham Forest and Stoke all make the playoffs. We finish in 16th. Going down are Millwall, Sheffield Wednesday and Reading. So you know the first thing I'll be doing is looking at their players to see who we can try and snap up. So that is the end of season, well, our first full season next season we are hoping we can push towards the top half we'll see what can happen thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed i'll see you for next season goodbye